Do you want to learn how to make books that sell, books that are different, books that can make you stand out from the crowd? Well, I'm going to show you a niche and then I'm going to show you actually how you can make these books and it's the spot the difference type books. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Ashley with Publish with Ashley and I am bringing you one of my shows weekly on Wednesdays and it, I do niches. I talk about how to make money online, KDP, Etsy. We're going to talk about a little bit of that. So spot the difference. You may have seen these books and what I like about them is it's something different. It's something in color and a lot of people, especially low content bookmakers, tend to make everything in black and white because it's cheaper. But with you have premium color and then standard color with standard color it is really affordable to do something in color that it makes sense for and spot the difference books is something that uh, makes sense for you're not trying to go over super picture quality you're trying to you know have people spot the differences uh, so I wanted to show you I specifically put in I think anything you're going to do you want to talk um, do specifics you want to niche down so this one is by brain games but it's amazing places picture puzzles so um, I don't think you want to actually use the word spot the difference um, do check and make sure if what country if it's trademarked in or any of that um, but you can definitely do picture puzzles um, differences uh, like this how many differences can you spot while boosting your travel trivia um, so they have actual travel trivia in there too which is kind of fun um, but I think you should do something very specific. Here's one at 6,000. It's spiral bound, I know. But the cool thing I think about this is not only can you do a print book, but this is actually a book you can make in Kindle. So you can actually do a Kindle version of this that someone could take with them and look on their Kindle device because, I mean, yes, you could circle it, um, but some people just like to go through and spot the difference, like one, two, three, four. Um, I know my kids, um, when we do spot the difference, we don't actually circle the differences. That way that like later on we can reuse them. So some people don't circle the differences, some people do. Um, but that gives you another option to do a Kindle book. Um, so you can see trains at 400,000. Here's another, that's specifically spot the differences around the world. And that's kind of a kid's one. Here is one, if I go down, I found one. Oh, Spot the Differences Art Masterpiece. This is a great thing because a lot of art is in the public domain. And since you're creating something new and different with it by using um, public domain art in a way that's new, new and unique, you can definitely do that with public domain activities. Here's a Spot the Difference activity book, um, Find the Difference Puzzles for Kids. And this one's at 78,000. Um, clever game, spot the difference, art masterpieces. I think this is a great idea, uh, especially if you can find something that is becoming popular or retro. Um, you can just look and see who and what art is in the public domain, and that's where you can get pictures. Um, you can find photos that are in the public domain, like maybe do something like national parks. Uh, I was thinking uh, Italy, like if someone's traveling to Italy, those are kind of fun uh, travel books, that sort of thing. Okay, let's see. So I want to show you also that you can do these same things on, um, you can sell them on Etsy. They aren't maybe quite as popular, but they are printables that you could do. Um, people do make them, create them, purchase them. So it is something that you can possibly reuse uh, and put on Etsy. So that's an idea. Now, how do you do this? Now Canva is awesome. So what I want to show you is there's a few tools. There's some that are um, paid and then there's some that are free. And so you can just try out and see what works for you. Um, so I have, I've created an eight and a half by 11 page. I have color photos here. You can make it go all the way to the edge. It, it's just how you want to set it up. You could even make them smaller and say spot the difference. I think mostly if you just have a spot the difference page at the end, then you can do that. Okay, so let's say you have those. Um, and what you're gonna wanna do, there's two ways to do it. So what I would do is actually create a template too so that you can easily drop things in. Um, and then you're also going to want to uh, make a, like as you change things, you're gonna wanna make something to circle it. So let's start with, I'm just gonna show you the different tools. Um, and then you can make like a solutions page too. All right, so let's kind of go in. Let's zoom in here. And I, the first thing I saw when I was looking at this, like you like, 
ones that are it depends what you're doing if you're doing kids you want to do something that's a little easier for children to spot the difference if you're doing adults this would be an adult type one where there is it's busy you want it to be busy so that the differences are harder to spot the first thing i noticed is this lady in her pink bag and i thought oh that's really a good one um so what you can do is you click it whatever photo um we're actually going to go to the second one right because or you could do the first uh, as long as you know what your differences are um you can have her so you can have edit photo and there's two things you can use you can use the magic eraser or you can use the magic edit the magic eraser is for is the paid one and magic edit is in beta um, and it gets fun and mixed results i had some fun with this one let me show you the pro tool real quick because it's pretty self-explanatory and you can see how to do it um so what i would do is you click on magic eraser and it opens the image for you and i'm just gonna you can choose the brush size over here make it smaller or bigger um, and you're just gonna basically highlight it and then you're gonna wait until it uh, basically makes it go out of the screen okay you can see that it disappeared i kind of missed maybe a little bit right here and I could take that off. Um, but for spot the difference, this is pretty good. Uh, now what you would want to do is do 10 things. What I would actually do is I would, what I would do, um, let me make this bigger. So I would, you could do all 10 at once. You just have to make sure you know where your 10 or 20 or however many spot the differences you're going to do on your page. Um, but the way I'd probably do this um, I'd probably try and do all of them and I might take notes as to what I did um, but then you're going to want to circle them and so let's see the easiest way to probably do this is to copy your page and then this one's going to be different this you could actually do it on the same and then you would want to insert an element like a circle add a shape um, i want a circle outline let's see i want a circle outline i think that was actually one of my choices circle outline oh i'm in frames Okay, let me get into where it circles. And here you go. And you want to make it something like red. Once you're doing this a few times, you'll be able to do it pretty quick. And you would want to circle every single change so that if someone had that, they would know um, where their edits are. So they'd have a circle. Um, you want to do it in a bright color and maybe make that thicker. Um, and then what you could do is you can select them all. Let's say this is the first one, but you would put number two down here. Okay. So if you had this and you don't have to do it right after, I would probably do the solutions page at the end, but you can start creating them as you go. Like I said, another one, let me move this up here. So another way you can do it is use these frames to drop in photos if you, once you're making your new photos. Let's see. I'm just going to use, I would actually purchase photos or find stock images that I could use. I wouldn't use Canvas because Canvas licensing is a little different. But just to show you um, how to drop in photos, uh, let's do, I think I had Italy. Italy. So we're doing maybe a travel book to Italy and you find some fun photos. So here's one and I could just, this is busy and I could drop these in. So that makes it really easy if you make templates and you can drop it in. Now let me show you the other thing that you can do um, to change like how things look. I'm gonna go back here. So then you could just take this picture right here and copy it and drop it down there and then add your circles. Uh, and that way you end up having your solutions pages towards the end. Hopefully that makes sense. But let's go over here and I'll show you the other thing you can do. 
edit photo. So I've clicked on this. You've got to make sure what photo you want is clicked on and you highlight and you hit edit photo. All right, my photo has come up and you see this magic eraser, which was the pro version, which kind of made things disappear. But this magic edit is really fun. I just wanted to show you. So this one did um, reset. So you kind of only have to use one <laughs> at a time. It reset this, um, but let's say we're gonna still do use this one. And I'm gonna hit continue. And then I want it to change to something. So I'm gonna put a small yellow purse and then see what I get. And you just type something in and hit generate. And this is kind of fun. Um, it's the free version. Uh, with free, I guess you have a few, um, it take, may take a few tries to get something you like. Okay, so it put these in. On um, this top one, it gave her an extra hand. This one maybe might work the best. Um, though it has a little circle around it. Let's see, um, that, that one's got a circle around it too. This one's got an extra hand. Um, but it, yeah, it might look, I mean, you can kind of tell it looks a little bright. But you can try, um, again, if you don't like what you get, you can just hit this generate new results. Uh, it says down here, this technology is new and improving, um, but check and report these images, they don't seem right. So if something, you know, something that you wouldn't, <laughs> something untoward or inappropriate comes up, you might want to warn them. But otherwise, just try and hit generate new results and see what else you can get. Okay, so this first one isn't too bad. It's kind of a, it's bigger, but it's not as big of yellow. Um, you could try this, but that's pretty bright. Um, there's this one. I kind of like that one the best. So that's what I would do. And then you could go through and edit different things. Um, maybe you want, mm, I don't know what you would want to do. There's so many things you can do. Uh, maybe you want to replace her with a different person. Uh, maybe you want to change one of these from red to green. Uh, maybe you want to um, change one of the American flags to a different kind of flag. Uh, you could just do different things with this. Uh, with the erase one, it's pretty easy. You could just erase her completely. Um, you could just have, yeah, erase the light and not have any. So it would go from a red light to nothing. Uh, so there's there's different options you can do, but Canva makes it super easy to be able to do that. So I'm going to hit done and you can see she has a pink bag and then that. Um, and like I said, you can just take your photo, control C, and if you wanted to, you just drop these in. Um, I'm just going to delete that one and put it back and I'm going to actually move my position because I had already made that lovely I'm gonna move it to the back and see my red uh, red thing circle shows up again. You know, you could do that. And you just add in all your differences um, so that that way the person, if they need the answers, they can have it. Um, I would definitely label the pages, uh, though with the pictures, it's not necessarily as necessary. Oh, I just, when I fiddled with this, it got larger. <laughs> Gotta love when you're doing things you don't know if you've hit like enlarge or make smaller or something like that. That was me. Um, but you could do the same thing with this. You could change the colors of the houses. You could change up the clouds a little bit. You could maybe, oh, that would be fun. Add dolphin into the water or a shark fin. Um, so there's things you can definitely do with the add uh, feature to change things up or just the erase feature. It depends on if you have pro or not. Uh, maybe you want to do things where you just change things all over. Maybe you want to do um, another set where you erase things. It just depends on how you want to create something um, different and fun for people to look and find. All right. Well, I hope this was really helpful to you to see how you can make a Spot the Difference book um, pretty quickly and easily. The use of frames is really great because you can just take your, you just copy a bunch of them and then drop your pictures right in, which is super easy. Then you don't have to fiddle with going, oh, did I size this right? See, that was me. It goes back to the right size. But, you know, if you're doing this all the time and trying to fiddle with it, that's really annoying. Um, but these frames are really easy to use. If you haven't ever used frames, you go into elements um, and I just type in frame. 
and I typed in rectangular frame specifically, uh, but it will pull up different frames. And you can see there's circles. Um, you could do something with something like this, but I think rectangular is pretty darn standard. So you just use uh, rectangular frames. You can hit see all and it'll show you all these different kinds, or you could just type in rectangular frame and you'll get a few that pop up that are really useful. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this show today. Please tune in next week with, um, I actually, I, I'm gonna have something coming up here soon with a scholarship for three lucky kind of winners to get a, uh, like if you don't know what you wanna do, you have all these ideas and you're just not sure what you wanna focus on um, or you just want to change. You want to get what you want, but you don't know what you want. <laughs> Does that make sense? So a lot of people have all these dreams and desires, but they can't necessarily focus on one or even decide, or they're just not sure. They just want something else. So I have a friend who's running course, um, and I'm going to have three lucky scholarship winners. Uh, so I will tell you a little bit about that in a few days, and hopefully you guys can enter and um, win a scholarship to attend uh, her class that's opening up. And I, I think it's really exciting. I'm going to probably be there some of the time uh, towards the end. And it will be a really fun group of people to really help you propel yourself forward and focus and get things done. All right. This was a great episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again soon.